A new addition to the patron list, Terry Davis is now an explosive boomer, so many thanks to him as well as all of my existing patrons and fine tool partners. Butcher blocks with a twist. What do I mean by that? Well, let me tell you. It's... Well, that was rude. It's like an episode of Sopranos or something. <laughs> Well, if you guys have built a butcher block in the past, you know that ingrain cutting boards are something that's pretty fun to do, especially by the time you get to cross cutting and seeing what the ingrain is going to look like. Um, but I was approached by a client that wanted something very unique, and just about any ingrain cutting board you make is going to be unique, but he wanted to take it a step further. So I decided to employ a little joinery with this board. And if you guys haven't seen my joinery board that I made several months ago, it was a dovetail. It was basically a sliding dovetail in grain cutting board. That was pretty difficult for my first attempt at making one of those. This one's actually going to be a little bit more attainable. So if you want to attempt something like this, uh, feel free to do so because it will be easier than the dovetail. I'm ready to get started on this. So if you guys are new here, I want to welcome you. If you like build videos like this or even SketchUp tutorials, I post videos every single week and you can check them out uh, anytime. I got tons of videos to look at. And be sure and click that notification bell. It'll notify you anytime I post brand new content. So let's get headlong into this. Now the client and I have discussed a couple of things and he wants a little more uniqueness than just this joinery. So I'm going to incorporate some purple heart and some maple glued up so I can cut some ingrain slices out of that and incorporate them as racing stripes in between two pieces of the ingrain puzzle pieces. Now another cool part I'm gonna put in between these two pieces of purple heart is some scrap tongue and groove that I had with zebra wood and walnut. And those will be the centerpiece between the two pieces. I had these blanks already glued up and it's two chunks of purple heart with some walnut and maple striping down the middle. They'll be flanking the two pieces of zebra wood and walnut. Now with the extra layers already cut to size and smoothed out, I can go ahead and glue up the ingrain.
So I ran into a bit of a snag in the process of making this, and as you can see, the feed belt of my drum sander actually split right up the seam, and it was it was actually an old belt, so it was probably do. <laughs> but this is the first time I've ever changed one of these and it took a little bit of finagling just to get it slid on but once it was in place uh, tracking it was probably the hardest part of it all uh, just to make sure it didn't rub on the sides. But once I got it on I ran the board through and uh, it was on 80 grit paper which left some lines but it did smooth everything out to uh, a certain point so I'll be able to take care of those later. I did take the board over to a friend's house, uh, John, over at Rock Creek Workshop, and uh, he has an Axiom CNC that he was able to run the juice groove on all, uh, all well, both sides, all four corners of the board, uh, which is what the client wanted, and it actually came out really, really nice. So with the 80 grit paper done, I went ahead and took it out of the drum sander and loaded in 120 grit. Now you can get these specifically made for your drum sander, and they're already cut. Um, the trick is just making sure that it's centered between the two clamps so it ends up where it's supposed to end up when you get to the other end. But once I got it loaded, I put it through the drum sander and uh, basically it removed all of those straight lines that the 80 grit paper normally gives you and makes it come out really, really clean. And I just love this tool. Uh, so if you guys haven't used a drum sander before, check it out because it will turn this into this. Love it. Now that this board is done, it is going to its forever home. I've got to make a delivery right now, so as soon as I turn this camera off, this baby's going bye-bye. And I hope that the owner loves it. I know that I've shown him pictures uh, during the process of the build, and he loves it, so he can't wait to see it. I guess we'll see what it's like whenever he actually puts his hands on it. But anyway, if you guys uh, like this build and you make one for yourself, be sure and share it with me. I'd love to see it. And if you guys want to check out any of my prior build videos or SketchUp tutorials, you'll find them right over there. Be sure and click my subscription face that you see right there in the center of the screen. And uh, I guess I will see you guys on the next episode. So thanks a lot for joining me on this. Talk at you later. Boom! That was like a puberty boom. <laughs>